How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today and today's episode is going to be focused on every legend in Brawlhalla that uses a bow for a weapon. I actually am a huge fan of the bow. Uh, funny enough when it first came out I really didn't like it but it's grown on me to the point where it's one of my favorite weapons. So the very first bow legend was actually Ember and she came out very shortly after I started playing Brahalla. I started playing Brahalla when Azuri was the newest character. How about you guys? How about you guys? Let me know uh, which legend was the newest in the comments when you started playing Brahalla. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and start with Ember and then go all the way down the list and just play every single bow legend. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to be picking whatever skin I think looks the coolest. Uh, I, I, I rarely ever use this one. Let's just go ahead and use my favorite ember skin, which is this one right here, the Fang Wild Fawn Ember. But I'm going to upgrade her katars. I, I really like the bear katars with this skin. I think it goes really well with her theme. And that should do it. Hope you guys are all having a great day wherever you guys might be. All right, so we're going up against... Oh, is that sunset colored Nyx? Those are really cool. I like the uh, gradient on her hair. Is that new? That looks really good. And yes, Nyx is a girl, if you did not know that. I gotta stop going right into her attacks. That would be useful. Now, just because I'm using all bow legends doesn't mean I'm not gonna use the other weapons that they may have. So, uh, she is. Using the scythe very well. Ooh, man, I went right into that. Oh, beautiful, dude. I did not expect that. Very well done, dude. Irelia. This is basically my warm-up match, boys. So give me a minute here. <laughs> Bye. I have the Meow Hala mod installed. So that's why the uh, crocky looks that way. Unfortunately though, I couldn't put the sound effects in the Meow Hala mod because it was messing with Thor's uh, sound effects because he was too new. I wonder if they've Updated Meow Hala. This is a battle on the edge. Oh, he finally got me, but I have one stock left and so does he, and he's already in deep kind of reddish orange. My bow skills are not warmed up. By the end of this video, I'll be feeling pretty good with bow. GG bro, GG. 
That one, his first stock on me was was the best. That was a good kill on me, dude. GG, well played. Oh, so close to level 32 Ember. All right, so after Ember, they went straight back to back with the Bow Legends and they released Azoth. And Azoth is a really good legend. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised more pros don't use him because he has very good moves. He's uh, balanced with his stats. He has two good weapons. I think that his SIGs are kind of unique and they might turn some people off because they're kind of weird. But I don't know. I, I get kills up plenty with his signature moves, so we'll see. Going against Morks with the Metadev Bodvar. Very nice skin. I am like the worst axe player out there, so I really need to get a bow on me. Oh man, see he tried to dodge through me. That's where Azoth Sigs are just so cool. Oof, right on the head, bro. That might have killed him. Yes, it did. The bow ground pound is insanely strong. I feel like... It's, like, basically as strong as the hammer. Ooh, that was a cool little hit. Oh man, <laughs> Azoth has so much defense too, I, well, I don't know, I think he has like 5. He has enough to be good though. Wrong move! When they're on the edge, a, uh, a nice side sig can be very good. Ooh, that was a nice hit, dude. That move, uh, the the uh, Bodvar uh, sword down sig is very, very good. Well, I didn't get to use the bow, the bow a whole lot. I actually won with the axe. I got two stocks with the axe. See, I wish BMG put more stats in the post-game uh, screens. Like, I want to know how much wep damage I did with, with each weapon and unarmed. You know, I just want to have more information there for me. But anyways, um, also, like, when you're playing 2v2, uh, how much team damage you did would be useful to know. <laughs> so they went back to back to back with Bow Legends, and then they released Koji after Azoth. So... We're going to have to use Koji's coolest looking skin, of course. The Shin Sakai Koji. Although, I, I, I like a lot of these other ones, too. They're all pretty cool. But Shin Sakai, man, that's hard to beat. I wish I had Skyforge for Koji. Maybe I should get that next time. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really good looking skin. A lot of people consider this skin to be the best skin in the game. And there's a lot of skins in the game. I don't know how many there actually are, but... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a hundred skins. I mean, there's a lot. Something pretty close to that. Koji is also a world champion winning legend. LDZ won the very first BCX using Koji. Of course, the game has been uh, balanced and patched a lot, so it's kind of a different game since then. But still, not too many legends can say they're world champion legends. Oh, you could have ground pounded me there. Nice reads.
When the bow first came out, I actually thought it was like too short range. But it actually has a lot of range. Good patience, dude. Oh, that was my first stock, dang. It actually has a lot of range if you know how to hit with it. Whew, that actually killed him, dude, I'll take it. Especially in the air, like. You can tell I like doing uh, down airs a lot. It's because of the range. I mean, and then you put in Koji's uh, bow sigs, which also have a lot of range. And he's just a really good legend. Plus, he has really cool sword sigs, let's be real. I'm always waiting for that scythe neutral sig to come out, and he just doesn't want to use it. Oh, I tried to do a down sig. I have no idea how that came out. Wow, killed me with a, a scythe neutral air. Very <laughs> rare, but all right. Wow, the sword neutral air sometimes surprises me with how it can kill off the ceiling. GG, bro. GG. Well played, as always. All right, so after Koji, they made Ulgrim, which is kind of, you know, a break from the three Bow Legend releases in a row. And then they went ahead and they made Diana, which is probably one of the most popular Bow Legends. And she's also one of the best because she has blasters and bow, which is a really good weapon combination. And she has really pretty decent sigs as well. Not all of them are that great, but they're pretty sweet. Um, so I think I have every skin with Diana because she's one of my favorite legends as well. And I have Goldforge, Skyforge, Black. Uh, this is my favorite one uh, skin. It's Survivor Diana. So I'm just going to leave her with Survivor Diana. I like the bow. The, the blasters are a little bit uh, boring looking, but they're alright too. So I'm just going to leave them. Diana. See how we do with Diana. Alright, so we're going against Mr. Pecan in the Salt Collector Clan. I was playing somebody in the Salt Collector Clan this morning. We were doing 1v1 experimental, just constantly queuing against each other. Literally like 10 games in a row we queued against each other. Uh, if you're watching this game, dude, you know who you are. I should have ground pound. Careful, dude. You don't want to fight Bo off edge. I mean, maybe you do, but most would say it's unwise. You got lucky, dude. You still coming at me unarmed. Why you do that? Maybe he's just having too much fun trying to do stupid stuff. Nice double hit, Thor. I'm not dead yet. You could have done a down sig. Right there, dude. Huh. Oh, 
kind of expected him to hop down and side air me, but he stayed up there. Nice kill, dude. My blasters game is probably not as good as my bow game, but I'll, I'll stick with the bow for the most part because that's what this video is all about, ain't it? I want to get him with the down sig. Think I can do it, guys? I think I can. I don't care if I lose a stock. I just want to get him with the bow down sig. Ooh, there it is. Oh, he's still not dead. Oh, he's still not dead. Oh! <laughs> You got me, dude. It's what I get for messing around, man. It's what I get. Mess around. And that should be game. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to kill him with the bow, but... The bow down sig, rather, but... Oh, well. GG, dude. GG, as always. So after Diana, they kind of took a break from the bow legends and they started releasing a bunch of gauntlet legends because that was a new uh, <laughs> gauntlet legends, man. That's a good game. Good classic game. I remember gauntlet legends on the Nintendo 64. I played the crap out of that game. It was so fun with uh, my, my little brothers and stuff. If you, it was a great co-op game. Anyways, they started making all these legends boop, 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 and we didn't get a bow legend until Yumiko. And Yumiko's also kind of a fan favorite. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Lil Yumiko because that's like my favorite one. And let's just go ahead and use a Lucky Clover color since Yumiko. that's what's in style right now. So I don't know how I'm going to do with Yumiko's hammer if I get to use it because I've been playing Thor like quite a bit since he came out. I mean, I'm only like level 11 or 12 with Thor, but I... Uh, you know, I'm used to Thor's hammer now. There's two types of players in Brawlhalla. The ones that, when the game starts, they instantly attack. And the ones that will, uh, you know, respect that I'm saluting them when the match starts. And I gotta say, the ones that are always in a rush to get the game going, they usually don't win. I don't know why. But they're just always in a rush. And when you're in a rush, you tend to be hasty and make poor decisions. Just my... Ooh, nice throw. This Azuri really wants to get three stocked, I think. There it is. GG dude, GG. Yumiko is probably one of my best bow legends. Like, I'm always like so calculated with her. Like, I don't know if it's because of her stats, 
Probably is. Her dex is eight dex. That's probably why it feels so easy to use bow on Yumiko. Honestly, she's a she's a good pocket pick. She's a really decent legend. And then let me make sure I didn't skip any bow legends. Let's just recap where we've been so far. So we went first bow legends, Ember, Azoth, Koji, Diana. Yeah, no, we didn't skip any bow legends. Yumiko, and then we didn't get another bow legend for quite a while. Because they started releasing all these stupid weapons like cannon and orb. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we got Kaya. And uh, she's not one of my most played legends. You could tell I'm only level 12 with Kaya. I think the Snowstalker Kaya is probably my favorite one. Uh, let's do home team colors. It looks pretty clean. I'm going to give her a better looking spear. Kaya deserves a better spear, man. Her, her spear sigs are, are very not that intimidating looking in my opinion. Let's go ahead and give her lightning rod. That looks pretty sick. And then for the bow. Uh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. My glasses. Uh, let's give her... Hmm. I don't know, man. Actually, this bow is pretty sick. Let's give her the rune wood. Oh yeah, that looks really good. That skin with the bow. Alright, guys. Oh yeah, this this weapon looks so good. All right, we're going against twitch.tv slash scary. Free advertising for you, dude. Oh my gosh, I killed myself on the bottom of the stage. I was gonna say, give me a second to relearn Kaya Sigs, like I remember them, but... Close one. He had a really good uh, thing going there. Almost got me. I feel like he's weak to spear. Wow. Good force on that ground pound, dude. He's kicking my butt, but I did kill myself once, give him that free stock, so it's only fair. He really likes to throw his weapon when he's up in the air like that. You know what I haven't hit him with? Is the uh, bow neutral. Ooh, wow, nice dodge, dude, nice dodge. Yeah, Kaya's probably my worst bow legend, so... Eh, well, at least I did the same damage as uh, he did almost. If I didn't have that one suicide, maybe it would have been a different game. But GG, dude, GG. Um, all right, continuing on, who is our last bow legend? Zarya, last but not least, he's probably one of my favorites as well. Um, let's do Skyforge. These are not the gauntlets I like to use. I like to use Heaven's Touch, I think they're called. Yeah, Heaven's Touch. And I don't like that bow right now. I like, uh, where is it? My favorite bow for this setup is right here, Rising Glory. I don't know why, but this this uh, this is my favorite setup for Zario. Man, I haven't played Zario in a while, so give me a second to warm up to him. All right, going against Shadow, or sh is it Shadow? Probably Shadow. 
But it looks like Shad and Doe, a Doe, like, Doe a deer, a female deer. <laughs> That's what it looks like to be. Nice, Sig. Look at how excited he got from that. Oh, I'm not dead, though. Come on, throw out another Sig. Oh, my, never mind. You don't need Sigs. Just keep doing those uh, recoveries. It's working out pretty good for you. Get that out of here. Wow, he's interrupting me like a freaking pro, dude. He read that spot dodge beautifully. A plus. Wow, I'm doing bad on, uh, my boy. Not anymore. Reverse three sock time. Get back up there, Nye. Oh my gosh, if I can't kill you by hitting you up, I'll kill you by hitting you down. How's that? There's the reverse three stock. Called it. GG, dude. GG, well played. Well played. Hey, level 30 Zario. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that completes our journey of all the bow legends. Uh, which one is your favorite? I hope that uh, one game for each bow legend is is OK. I know probably, you know, it'd be cool if I did more than one game with each bow legend, because it, honestly, it takes a while to get warmed up with the legend. It, but maybe I'll save that for a future live stream. So let me know your thoughts on uh, the bow. Let me know what you would like me to do in the next video, which weapon. I already did Katars recently, 1v1 games with every Katar legend. So if you're a Katar main and you didn't see that, just look back a couple weeks and you'll see that in my videos. But yeah, let me know uh, which, which weapon you'd like me to do next. And as always, guys, please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button for more Brawlhalla content. As always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy.